Okay, people keep asking me to do a video explaining how to spiral cut your hot dogs. So I thought I would show you today. There's different ways you can do it. You can take them one by one and just kind of hold them and spin them. That's one way to do it. There's actually a device you can buy that spiral cuts them for them. I'm just always afraid I'm going to hurt myself with something like that. Uh, so this is the easiest way that I've found to do them and the most consistent way. I, I'm going to do three at once and show you how to do that. And, you know, this is just a fantastic way to cook your hot dogs. You're going to love it. Trust me, they're awesome. So line them up three deep. And, you know, there's always a flat side, at least one flat side on a hot dog, usually. So these are skinless uh, beef franks, I guess. And I'm going to make just a, a diagonal cut like this here. And I'm going to go ahead and cut it here as well just to make them consistent. And then we just wanna keep those as consistent as possible all the way down the hot dog. Now you don't have to do them this close together. In fact, I did some others earlier that were not this close together. And uh, you just, you wanna do it the same all the time. I've always found about eight cuts works about the best because it's just gonna be like magic when you're done with these, it really is. So you turn it and then find your cut lines and if you're not exactly on them, that's okay also. Um, it's not that big of a deal. If you're a little off, they're still going to do a wonderful, magical thing. When you're going to see them a little off there, that's okay. Trust me, it's still going to be pretty. And if you do this, your family will love you and your friends will love you. They will go on and on about what an amazing hot dog chef <laughs> preparer you are. Again, I'm not going to get them exactly lined up, but that's okay because the hot dog is the most forgiving of all meats. <laughs> has your hot dog forgiven you lately? There, see, we're close. Eh, they're a little off, but it's going to be fine. There they are. See how they kind of a, and here's what they're gonna do when they when they get on the grill. They're gonna stretch out. They're gonna be amazing. I'm gonna line up a couple of cuts a little better. This one could be a little better. All right. Fix that one and fix that one. It's really hard to do with a camera here in front of me. All right, let's get them out to the grill, see what happens. Put them on the grill, I've got the temperature turned down. We're gonna put them on the warming rack, actually. And instead of laying them the right way, we're gonna lay them long ways. And you'll see why. Now, put it out, I'm just hurting myself. We're putting them up here first. And a little later, we'll move them down. But right now, we're gonna put them here. And about every two minutes, we're gonna give them a little quarter turn. You'll see what happens here in a few minutes. Okay, we've had a quarter of a turn so far. Let me give them another quarter. Ooh, that one's getting pretty done. You notice what they're starting to do though, how they're opening up. All right, we want to do that kind of gently at this point. Keep them gently opening up. We don't want them to Burn. These are getting a little too done. I might move these over here. Woo! Warm, warm, warm. And let them keep doing their thing up there for a while. Let them go a little bit longer. I might move them down to the grill just for a few seconds to give them just a little kiss from the flames. And that makes things pretty good. You gotta watch them when you do that but some of these have opened up really nice. Some of them I could have cut a little deeper, a little more even, but still, you see all those ridges and you see all that length that we've gotten on those, it's gonna be incredible. While I had the hot dogs up on the warming rack, I put some buns on the grill and toasted them. Toast your family's buns.
<laughs> I love you for it. Look, here's what happens. We put the hot dog on the bun. Look at that, it extends out the ends. Now, check this out. We put on some onions and it all goes in between the little ridges. And we put on some, I hear my son getting ready for this. We put on the, the uh, relish and it does the same thing. Look at that. A little bit of mustard. Fill in those little crevices with your mustard. Boom. There you go. Spiral cut your hot dogs. Trust me. Thank me later. It'll be great.